What have I learned during my studying time of Spanish language? For 30 hours. And what will I do today in Moscow if I will go to Moscow for my university because I'm a linguistic man and uh, I'm from Russia and hello everybody who joined to us. I hope that uh, everything is fine in your university. And I have been learning Spanish for 30 hours. Is it big? Is it not? I don't know. But if you have experience of zero hours, that maybe it will be valuable for you. For you, if you have experience of 50 hours, or maybe 500, or maybe 5,000, or 50,000 hours, that maybe it will be available to you to watch at this dif at this language different. Let's talk. I have been learning it, and uh, I was doing it through writing. I was doing it like this. You know, we can write subconsciously on our keyboard, for example, palabras, you can write something, hablar, español, or maybe different, la, a, i, o, la, los, mas, muchas gracias, que, que son, son, que son, and different types of combinations of words you can write on it. It is the way how I learn English too. And you write different types of combinations of words. That's all. And then when you read a book of this language, then you are familiar with words that you have created inside of your mind and you are confident with these words. And then you create definitions of these words inside of the book. You start to overthink them. Overthink not in the meaning of society like overthinking deals, but overthinking in a way of uh, you start to think, create and make semantics. Let's use make semantics. You create semantics and meanings for these words. Maybe they are not correct, but you are creating them. You think them up. You create meanings up inside of your mind and then you can go to you can read it and understand fully what's th what's happening inside of the book or maybe you can use a dictionary to make sure that you are correct that you are doing great it is how i learn right now any language and i understand that it is a good way to learn for me as a writer because Jesus Christ, someone is here? Is it a mosquito? <laughs> and it is a good uh, way because you, uh, the most, uh, the most uh, valuable, no, 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 the most vulnerable thing for me was, and the most uncomfortable maybe, it was to to understand words, how they are pronouncing, how they are doing inside of our mind, how they connected, because I prefer to use connected speech when I don't, when I when I'm not a slow man, I mean, the way how we read. For example, I will open the text and I will try to read it. One moment, I will open G R R Tolkien. It is the Lord of the Rings, and here is we have, for example, synopsis. This is the third part of the Lord of the Rings. Yes, we have the beginning. The first part, the Fellowship of the Ring, told how Gandalf and Gr the Grey discovered the, the, that the ring, possessed by Frodo, the Hobbit, was in fact the One Ring, ruler of all the rings of power. I have been... I, I was doing it. I was doing reading with some poses. Did you notice it? Yes, you noticed. I, sometimes I've made this in a way of Frodo the Hobbit and also was in fact the One Ring because it was new phrases for me. But when we repeat them all over again inside of our mind, that then they are becoming something really easy, something really flowy. And if you are a beginner learner of language, then you read books so slow and like this way. This is the third part of the Lord of the rings. It is when you read it firstly, in your first stage of level, when you are on the zero ground. But when you do writing this way, you only create letters like pala, palabros, palabras, palabra, palabre, palabri, palabreo, pala, balaro, Balariro. Maybe you will create your own language. It will be Konlang of you. Konlang is the 
or art lang is the way how you create your own language fictional language or useful language i don't know what's name of it in english but in russia we call it art lang e con lang e means uh, end in a russian language we call them this way and uh, you can create your own language and you will be confident in it it doesn't mean that you will be crazy and you will go crazy i'm not going crazy uh, i speak the way how i speak uh, always people understand me in on the streets yes i speak with some maybe interesting fruitful language but uh, it is really good and uh, really makes you confident and the most powerful it will improve your speakability speakability i mean that when you when you write this way then you are confident what you produce not what you read because the most maybe hurtful thing when you learn language it is when you no words, but you don't know how to speak them, because you was reading them. And when you write them, then you will be able to speak them. Speak or write. It means that they will flow. Fastly. It is a really useful tool. I highly recommend to you, and then you will not be hurted again by this feeling, and uh, no need to be hurt. Need to, need to go forward and learn this language through this method. I use it. Let me know your method if you know yours. Next, I wanted to talk about uh, my Moscow University. It is what I learned about... It is what I learned about Spanish uh, and uh, also a few cents for Spanish. I was doing learning Spanish for 30 hours and I already know how to say my words, I know how to say my opinion in some ways. Also how I learn the language, I use translator. I don't read books, I use translator in a way that uh, maybe translator will say to, to me the correct way, because sometimes we can use uh, Shakespearean language like thus and tra Google Translate don't understand them uh, so much. Uh, he translates words un uncorrectfully because uh, it is the machine. Yes, we understand. And sometimes it will be a kind of not correctful meaning that we meant. And uh, if we use easy language, then the translator works good. And I, how do I use it? I translate the my my educational purposes my educational objectives my educational exercises that i have in my uh, university and i translated uh, i translate them into the spanish language and read them in spanish and i kind of guess what does it mean and then when i go again to exercises they're really easy for me because my mind is already have kind of associations and they are easy to me it is maybe one more approach that you can use. And also these things, either comment on my second channel. I mean that uh, not second, fifth or sixth channel, but we, I have different channels. I mean second, not this channel. I upload it on my Spanish language and I have, uplo I have, I have uploaded already 140, 145 different videos uh, with uh, different uh, longevity. With uh, one minute, with... 2 minutes, 20 minutes, 30, and uh, I read there, because it is the way how I motivate myself, it is uh, how I can visualize my process, because when we only read, like reading, like uh, maybe writing, we can visualize it on our paper, yes, but I need something that will be on internet, it is my way, because someone will say to me, hey, what's, what the hell, it is show of Truman or what, and uh, <laughs> what do you do, show of Truman means that you are fully inside of the camera and nothing in the real world, someone can say it, I understand these people, I see it, and uh, about my way, I, I like this way, because I can kind of document, and then after two years I can show the beginners who who maybe will start it again, uh, may, not again, but they will start to learn their Spanish language, English language, and I will show my progress, and they will be, Jesus Christ, holy moly, oh my lord, oh my goodness, uh, he was in the beginning not really nice, and right now he knows many words and can use them correctly, or almost correctly, and it's amazing, okay, and uh, it is one more 
purpose. After two years, in two years, I will show my progress and it will be nice content, nice way. And also it is monetization, by the way. If you need to monetize something, maybe it will be a good thing. And also it is the way how you can build community as I built here on this channel. It's amazing. And uh, I think that we should use it if you want, if you want. And uh, it is how I use it. Okay, about uh, Moscow University. Today I will go to Moscow and uh, I have uh, seven, seven different subjects that I need to finish. And uh, I mean that finish, uh, I should speak them. I should speak and also I should uh, def defeat, de de def I should make a defense of subjects. Defense in Russia means that you are on exam exams and you are speaking with your examinator or lecturer and speak with them. I should uh, end my seven different uh, subjects because I was uh, moving from one university to another I, and I should I should finish my my moving debts. Moving debts it means that previously I was in a strategic marketing direction and I had one type of exercises, one type of directions and subjects that I have that I had in previous university. And right now I moved to another, to linguistics and philology. And uh, I right now learn different subjects, different uh, departments of knowledge and uh, need to, need to, n need to, how to say it, re exam something that was in a previous semest semester. I hope you understand. I, I had eight different subjects and need to finish them and re-exam them in you and uh, it is what I need to do with social linguistics innovations in pedagogical education also laws and rights in educational process also something with linguistics and philology modern modern cases in this field also how to do scientific works how to do practical works and something of this nature. It is interesting and uh, I really understand that if you want to be a scientist, uh, then it is uh, all about doings, about inventing new things and about anything. If you want to be a musician, then you need to invent something. If you are a writer, then you invent your own words. If you do this and inventing that doesn't mean that you are like Nikola Tesla, you are created already 10,000 dif different things around. Yes, Nikola Tesla is a good man, but uh, it means that you daily invent one new thing, different thing, third thing, fourth thing and uh, after one week, you will have 28 things if you have created, if you have been creating daily four things a day. That's all. You can create it through, through new words or maybe new types of compositions that you create. Maybe it will be only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all. Three, uh, you smashed eight knots and uh, already it is your new creation, improvisation, you can call it, with different semantics, you can call it. And I think that it's interesting in any direction. So, I will go right now to Moscow, need to also record video on Russian channel to edit it and then to go. I already I have been, I, I, I have created already for TikTok Russian, for Yandex Zen Russian <laughs> social media, for different uh, social medias because uh, I work on uh, media field and uh, need to create content for people because they think that uh, it is valuable and I think that it is too and uh, because uh, valuable it all depends on uh, how many you can you can take from this information. In Russian language we have the phrase all information brings... How, how to say it? All information brings the information that the receiver can get. It means that if you can from the word apple take, take something like uh, not only image of apple but also company apple or maybe it will be label Apple, or maybe it will be your code name of the program Apple, or maybe it will be your code name for operation, or maybe it will be for something else. The more different patterns you can br take from one word, the, the more meanings you can take. The 
this uh, phrase says about it. <laughs> like uh, all information, it is not depending on the speaker. Yes, speaker is uh, depending too. You can say different words and you can affect a person. But if you are a smart person, then it is even Bruce Lee a quote. Yes, the 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 the, 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 the one moment uh, one person the wise person can take anything or maybe uh, yes uh, can take anything from even super stupid or something question so low and uh, so ordinary question but ordinary person can't take even something wise from wise question or quote it is bruce lee quote and <laughs> okay thank you a lot for watching be cool always go forward and uh, um, t take us make us Take a sad song and make it better. Yes, guys. <laughs> Remember to let you into your heart, heart and uh, then you can start to make it better. Thank you. The Beatles is here. <laughs> see, see you next time. Good band, by the way. See you next time. Bye-bye. Be cool. Improve style daily.